Hi, and welcome to Art Studio Henry. Today I'm going to be doing a painting and a little bit of talking through my process and what I'm thinking about at different times. So there'll be parts where it's just the painting and there'll be a little bit of talking as well. This is a sketch that I began in a cafe. I had the optimistic idea that I would go and sit in a cafe and paint. And uh, one of the essential items of doing that would be to have taken my paints. Um, so when I got to the cafe, all I had was an old dried palette, which was actually dug out of a cupboard and hadn't been used for probably 10 or more years. Um, so I had a paintbrush and some water and I just used the colors that I had on there. Um, and it was very little really. So I got as far as I could, um, but this is really finishing it off. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Speak to you later.
Okay, so at this point I was feeling kind of a little bit frustrated. Um, I kind of got to the end of the painting maybe. Um, I feel it's fairly finished but it hasn't really expre expressed what I it, what I wanted it to quite. The original, um, I don't know, was lots of different textures and patterns which I like um, but also botanical form is quite precise even though it can also look chaotic with all the leaves sort of crossing each other. Um, and I hadn't quite got there really. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering how to solve this. Um, I did a little looser sketch with just some paint, just trying out um, to see whether I could, you know, how to paint these, <laughs> um, these plants, which have many leaves and they're slightly upturning um, and they're very structural but they're also loose and I, I, I'm finding this confusing. So I tried this and I like this, I think this works really well. It's a slightly larger scale which sometimes is easier to cope with. Plus I thought, oh I'm just doing a sketch, I'm not doing the thing in the sketchbook, I'm just going to do this as a quick thing. So inevitably you were more relaxed. Um, so you know, so I think this works better, I haven't really taken it to its final degree but also I am much more happy with the sort of form um, there than perhaps the tighter and more um, constrained just because of the size. Um, I think everyone has their sort of size that they like painting at and this sketchbook um, you know there's a, a new thing for me to paint as small as this um, but I think I've got you know something going on here which kind of works um, and I and obviously the emphasis is here to some degree because we've got a darker tree behind the shape of this and it just worked out well and we've got a little splash of red um, and when I take this pink tape off it's going to feel much different because of course this pink tape is affecting how you see the picture I might even think of putting even some pink I can't think there's no space for me to put in pink now in the picture but I have of course balanced it to some degree with these with this tape colour um, so I might even pick, put a pink border on if it looks nicer finally let's see what I do um, so yeah I wondered whether I show you the original picture that I'm going from I've obviously changed the composition a little bit elongated it um, but I just like really like these structure forms and then the slightly freer ones. I don't know, I just like the different textures going throughout and I like the greenhouse behind. Um, but it doesn't look as structured in my final piece, which is okay, it kind of works. Um, but I thought I'd have a little bit of a play around. I mean, maybe the thing is, yeah, this is it, but is to zoom in. I might have a little play with, uh, you know, trying to draw one of these more precisely and maybe that will help inform how I do it more casually. Um, you know, if you look at this one here, it's actually got this sort of rosette, but there's another one growing out of it and that's often the thing, that's why it looks confusing, but now I take a slightly closer look and that's happening here as well, there's a, ros a larger rosette and then another one looks like it's growing out of the centre of it, which I think probably is what's happening. Um, just to see that elsewhere. So we often draw, of course, what we we think we see, which is kind of okay for a shorthand, but sometimes we get into trouble because it's not actually expressing what it is we liked about it, um, and that's you know that's because we haven't taken the time to look. So I'm going to take a little bit of time, maybe to maybe one of the simpler ones, which is maybe I'll try to do that in a little bit more. Um, you know, just hone in on that with a, s a simple sketch and see whether that tells me anything that I might need to know um, for completing this drawing.
So the sketch has moved on somewhat because I ran out of battery and had to, well I didn't have time to wait because <laughs> this is my slot for painting. So um, I kind of moved on a little bit with this. Um, it went through a slightly unedifying stage where I thought it wouldn't come together and then I thought it would help if I had, I was going to pick out a bit of detail with either a pen and as it turns out I don't use pastel pencils um, and what really helped was adding in this brown which is in nice it's a sort of warm colour it's in nice contrast to the greens so it just lifts it a little bit I guess it's in the reddish spectrum but it's still very dark so it sort of sits back well as well and then I've got the branches which just give give the same colour but in um, a lighter form um, so I'm relatively happy with that it's still not you know um, but I do feel I understand a little bit more about the shape of them um, I'm not sure whether it would inform the next time that I did something along these lines I'm sure um, but um, yeah I'm sure it would actually uh, but this is obviously a different scale and it is easier um, to do something like this in some ways um, and I kind of thought I'd leave it there I've got a sort of as far I've got to the stage where you fiddle more and you don't get more from it and you might make it worse which sometimes is not a bad thing to carry on fiddling and if it goes worse well you know who cares you're learning stuff along the way but on this occasion I thought I would stop there it could be a little bit more defined um, but I'm not a great detailist in certain things so um, yeah I didn't put in more detail than that I felt it had enough and it had a lot more of the texture and what I wanted to express um, in the first place when I'd seen um, uh, the original um, you know I've been at the botanical gardens and what I'd liked about it so that kind of captures it so that was kind of the point um, I blew up a section of let's have a look it's actually this it's roughly this section here it's a little bit simplified um, so if I can get them both in at once yeah sorry the light's a bit it's maybe a little bit better um, yeah so it's just that's that and it's kind of that section with this one going off to the side so back to this and what am I going to do with this now um, I sort of feel having done these other sketches I kind of I feel that one almost went as far as I wanted it I'm going to take off these um, tapes now because that's going to affect the way it looks significantly because whoops I'll take the paper with it and yeah it just kind of crisps it up somewhat although I do like the pinky colour um, and I half wish I'd kept some element in there I mean we have got a little bit of pink here but um, generally certainly not as much as the tape gives it but I think probably overall I won't I had thought maybe I'd colour in the um, and replace that with actual paint kind of tonal pink uh, but I don't think I will um, yeah I might just strengthen up a bit of the pattern with a dark pen maybe um, I'd sort of learnt in this one yeah there's a sort of pick out some real darks just to define the the shape more um, and I could do that but I've got to do it at a smaller scale and these pastel pencils although they're lovely because they can sit it sits right on top you can just lay it over the um, uh, the top of the watercolour better than you can than with a pencil um, but they're rather they're a bit rounded at then they're not really pointy I could probably sharpen them up and, and make it that I don't know um, but it's a slightly finer scale this and I might put in a little bit of this detail that you sort of have this slightly drawn quality which is quite nice sometimes over watercolour and this might, might just define areas and I just put in some real darks I might do it with a, um, a pen so uh, let's have a little fiddle 
and uh, see where we get to. <laughs>